Hello, hello, visionary entrepreneurs, life changers, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to our Momentum Monday. Today we are going live inside of our Facebook group, Abundant Entrepreneurs. This is our weekly, weekly episode. Today is already our 124 episode, and let's talk about our dream customers, okay? Dream 100 dream customers, and this is now become my favorite topic, just like Russell has been teaching, Russell Brunson, the funnel, let me show you quickly the book. Traffic Secrets, and we just finished the last month, uh, Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. And this is uh, his uh, last book, not really last book, he's writing a new book, and this, his, this is the third book of his trilogy, Traffic Secrets. And uh, he's been talking all about the dream customers, dream 100, so my favorite topic. Oh, by the way, I want to show you my new plants. You can see that my background is all about this, uh, you know the name, Fortune Bamboo. Fungi bamboo is from China, I think, um, because I saw all of them in China and uh, I, I buy it from the Chinese supermarket and uh, I just love it. I don't know how to say that. I, my, that, that two old ones has been with me how many years? Maybe almost 10 years, can you imagine that? And uh, they are the least uh, uh, 10, how to say, demanding plants. And busy, busy people like me, this will be your blessing because if you want something like plants inside of your home and also good meaning as well right fortune bamboo and so easy to grow you just need the water and it's very clean right just water clean water and without any kind of a, like a disease or like bugs and um and bamboo it looks like a bamboo a little bit you can see this uh not from the the stem and uh you see all this kind of a new sprouts from the bamboo and this one is the younger one let me show you normally i just buy four of them and uh, they will keep growing for years and still alive you see my background uh just and also a lot of important things uh, remember the air pollutioning from the canada's wildfire wild uh, wildfire to new york to the tri-state of a uh, lost west uh, lost lost east uh states and it's really almost like damaging our environment. And but this kind of a bamboo, fortune bamboo, is great for air cleaning inside of a home. So it's all like a, this is my most uh, my favorite, uh, most precious plants. So easy to grow, easy to maintain, good meaning, and uh, great for your health. So what more can you ask for, right? So this is my new company today, and let's get back to our. Dream customers, dream 100. How many of you have, uh, I'm just curious, how many of you read uh, uh, Russell's book? And how many of you love reading? I know not everyone is keep is uh, like uh, keeping reading every day, right? Are you, but if you are having this great habits, reading every day, I will say congratulations to you. Because I just like, uh, since the beginning, I used to be a like really book lover since I was a little child. I love to read all this kind of book I could find, uh, of, of course, like a good book. So, but during that time in China, Southwest, um, uh, like a small county in China, I barely could find some great books, like big books, right? Uh, but I did find some, like still find some like good resource wherever I can reach to. <laughs> Whenever I visit other people's home, I always look for books to see. And I did get some quite some teenager great books. I love that, those levels. And some of them are for adults, but do, and it's very healthy, very healthy levels. And um, and um, my parents worked in like opera house, right? All their, how do you call that? Like scripts, <laughs> all their like uh, uh, performance and uh, uh, their artwork uh, scripts. I read them again and again. And my father also have those. He connected hundreds of those like small. Do not time, you know the age. Now you know at my age. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Carpona. Thank you for being live and uh, seeing. I love the picture. Thank you. And uh, so, uh, during that time, my father connected. I think he still connects uh, those uh, small books. How do we call that? With a small, colorful, just like this size, very hand, like a very handy input in your palm. All this uh, colorful, not not even colorful. They have a black or white, and then colorful. Uh, he collected all those like, historical kind of uh, stories uh, uh, series. Right, many like dozens of books for the series, and uh, for example, uh, quite some like a famous Chinese like a historical like a, like a novels and also like a historical kind of stories, all those kind of small ones with a brief connection a story description, but the majority is like 
like uh, the pictures. So it's very, it's for kids, right? It's for kids, but it's like, a, it's also have some value for adults to connect them. And my father connects so many of them, that's my favorite. And some of them, I, I cannot remember how many times I read them. Because I really, I was so thirsty for, for all kinds of books, right? And that's why I also maybe developed my visionary, <laughs> visionary person. I'm a visual person. I love to watch kind of a, a book, uh, like a pictures and I love art. But now, since but then after I immigrated to the U.S., or should not say that, before, even before that, after I went to college, I barely have any time to read anymore. Uh, it's all the, the uh, has the challenging college courses, right, and uh, homework, and then go to work, and, and then busy work time. And then after I immigrated to the U.S. and um, marriage, family, kids, barely have a, any time really committed to daily continuous reading. Till I feel like it's just like this is not this is not okay. I need to read more. I definitely I connected so many great books there, right? I cannot wait to to get to them. So since the you eventually I made this decision and I, I need to take a challenge. <laughs> I made a decision. I will do the 365 days challenge for this year 2023. So I started since the first day of 2023 until today. It's already like 100. Uh, today's our 163rd day for our reading challenge, abundance reading every day, and I've, I've been loving it. And uh, we've already finished the six books before, and, uh, the, and the Traffic Secrets from Russell is our seventh book. And I love his topics, and the Expert Secrets still on my desk, because I there's so much, like for the perfect webinar scripts, everything, presentation, I need to refer to it, and also need to keep doing it every, every week. Now that's my new challenge, every week, doing perfect webinar and but today we talk about this is a traffic secrets favorite topic it's about our dream customers and our dream 100 that's a key and today actually how many of you by the way you read the book and after you finish it and you close the book and you put it by the side right at the side and um, then quite soon after you, you get to a new book and maybe after a few days if you can still remember what you read from the book you just closed and Actually, that's not a really good reading way. If you just read, and like my kids, sometimes they read uh, those uh, fiction books, novels. They read so many books just for fun, right? For fun, it's good. And this, uh, they add some uh, vocabulary and uh, uh, help them to enrich their writing style as well. That's good. But now, for our, for example, our coaches, vision or entrepreneurs, we are reading what? We are most time reading mastermind and the strategy related books, right? Or like a success strategies or habits related books. If you just read it, this is not novels, right? It's not just the stories. After you read it, if you just close and put it down, you will forget it about uh, maybe two days, right? For 48 hours. And that's a, not a good way. You, even though you maybe read hundreds of books, but if you do not practice it, the book will be gone, okay? All the content and teaching will be gone. So that's why I want to really apply. So now for Expert Secrets, I will uh, be applying. Like last Thursday, I did that live event already. And this Thursday, we will do a live event again. And different, right? We will always keep uh, optimizing it, improving it. And so that's a website. But for the traffic secrets, this is it's, uh, it's really for customers, ideal customers, for our dream customers and dream 100. And how do we practice it? So today I actually want to guide with you to do the exercise because I do not want to just keep reading every day and without the time to digest and to implement and to put that into my own practice and own knowledge. By the way, Tony Robbins, one of my favorite mentors, right? he's been teaching us his favorite way and he's, uh, one of his secrets of uh, success is whenever I attend a live events, this similarly, and a book, writing book, okay, similar like you are learning through live events or through videos or through like a webinars, right, and through the reading books, you implement. He said uh, the words are exact, not exactly, but the, he said words is like never leave the site of your inspiration without implementing it, okay, at least they implementing one thing. That will help you to turn what you learned into what you know. And especially the best way is like uh, the best learning is by teaching. 
So if you share, like now I'm sharing with you, I'm like sharing and teaching and like at the same time I'm doing a practice and an exercise, do the implementation. This is the best way for me to really get the best secrets from those masters. And I've been doing this for quite a, quite a while. I've been doing coaching for 14 years. And today let's get into, dive into this like dream customers, okay? I did this uh, the, some exercises during my reading, but I want to, um, let's say, strengthen it. And want to make it to the next level and also at the same time help you, help you to discover. And even though you already know something, right? But always, there all, there's always space to, to really optimize, to improve. Because I, I've been teaching how to clarify your purposeful and profitable niche, niche secrets. That's my program. But I still found every time I read those masters teaching and practice in those exercises, right? Even though some exercises I've been doing like for a few times, but still every time I get a new inspiration to so get to new, like a new ounce, right? And the, like pinpoint and also like a further fine, fine tune it. That's that's a that's a big best way, okay? So now about your dream customer. This is actually the secret number one in this uh, traffic secrets book. Who is your dream customers? Maybe you will say like a previous that I was I will share with people my niche, right? I will say I help visionary entrepreneurs, life changers to like to step up for the call and stand out in the market as a confident expert and thought thought leaders to transform more other people's lives, right? But now, after I keep learning, I may like fine tune some words. For example, visionary entrepreneurs, life changers, so, so many of them, right? Still like not very clear for people. So I, I would put like um, coaches there. And then even coaches, there could be some many categories of coaches, right? And then who are the coaches really aligned with me and really want to help them? And I further clarify, for example, I, there could be like life coaches or business coaches, right? And there could be like a health coach, there's a, like a relationship coach, a spiritual coach. And in the coaching industry, it's very interesting, right? People can call themselves any kinds of coaches. And there are like, a, this is like the most innovative area, innovative area. There's so many kinds of like coaches and people can just call them any kind of coaches. So I love that kind of innovative and creative zone of our industry. And, but at the same time, if you want to attract your ideal clients, you need to be further clarified. Let people know, and you, you cannot like all, all the coaches, right? That's too many. And and it's still okay, right? If you just say coaches, at least it's better than just the visionary entrepreneurs and life changers. But now I put them three together, like coaches, visionary entrepreneurs and life changers, making it more clear. But if I, I, I will like a communicate directly with some people, even further clear, if I use like a, life coaches for example if okay if i say oh, all the coaches could have including like business coaches right but now for example in my abundant entrepreneurs group i would like to attract more life coaches into it including actually life coaches including those like relationship coaches uh, health coaches and um, uh, spiritual coaches right they can all put into this subcategory like there's a uh, in Russell's words, there's three, not just Russell, I heard other masters teach this. They put these three big categories, okay? The market, three big categories, three markets, and three based on people's desires and needs. For example, uh, let's say uh, health, right? Health is a big category. So many people are, especially through pandemic, so into health. And then is uh, what? is relationship right we are into like uh, either personal intimate relationships or it's like uh, your family your social relationships it's all like uh, even your work relationships right or the relationships is a big category and then it's what wealth okay wealth is about your money your work your like a career your business your money your finance everything related to wealth right so that's a those three big categories based on our human needs and our desires. So that's a three big ones. And then all the masters will suggest you to choose one, okay? If you are doing like across the different um, uh, big categories, there will be like a very challenging for you to do your marketing, to design your products or attract your ideal clients, right? That's, that means like a niche is too generic or it's like a conflicted or it's like a splitting, I would say. Different niches will Confuse yourself, right? Also confuse your customers. So it's definitely not good. So you want to concentrate 
unless you are like Tony Robbins. He started 45 years ago. Okay, during that time, there, the market is like a very, very, uh, like say, uh, plentiful for him to choose. He had that act like serious because he is almost like the, the he in his word he was like the founder or like a, a pioneer for almost like a creator for the coaching industry right through him like a coaching industry really thrive has been thriving but then later more and more people get into this market and it's become a red ocean okay we call blue ocean or red ocean red ocean the concept is means like a too competitive and too like a saturated right so many coaches and now you need to find your specific niche and now more and more people is getting into even they call micro niches and to really just like a very interesting okay just like doctors okay i visited I because like three months ago i had a um, sports accident and uh, the badminton birdie hit my eye my right eye and i got blind, blinded almost okay went to er and then i need to follow up to visit all those kind of eye doctors from generic one from um how do you call those all those terms even this small eye okay there are maybe around 10 different kinds of uh, like uh, specialties I imagine that I did not know that, right? You have uh, the one working on your arena. I forgot the name. Okay, the the, the like the bottom, the bottom of your eye, and where the 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 reflection and the images uh like uh, uh how to say that it's it's formed, right? And then you have a doctor for the front and doctor for what for the iris, a doctor for the nerves or doctor for a glaucoma, all this kind of different. Uh, types of doctor or generic eye eye doctor right and then specialties okay so even the doctors has all this kind of a, like a specialties that we call it specialties and then that make them very clear for for the patients and also for a referral as well it's very clear like which specific doctor you should visit uh, and in, this is now true for any industry okay and more and more every interest in, industry is getting into those like a micro niche and people get them into more specialties and this is also good actually for for customers okay for customers it's much easier for them to find sorry this kind of a sperm all this kind of sperm kind of a let me let me sorry let me really turn off my the the voice of my cell phone now all these people can try to call you and um so that's why the specific niche and even micro niche is good for you to become that uh, expert in that area okay but it's not it's okay you have a like a broad interest and you can you can you can have a hobbies in whatever like industry you want right but for the business for the work you want to do and now the trend is really get into your niche and many people say i do not want niche like right? our niche is limited me oh my product or my service is so great i can serve everybody Right, right, especially for our coaches. Remember, like uh, for example, our life coaches, especially for our life coaches. I started as a life coach. I started as a, I call myself a happiness coach. I help people to clarify their purpose and find what they are truly love, you know, they call to do and what's their passion, right? I help them. And more and more, I also translate into both life and business coaching as well. And combine them together, I call myself abundant soul leadership coach. I help people to. Like I mentioned earlier, I help you to clarify your purpose and but also at the same time to stand out, you know, through your personality, through your branding, from, through your content, through all this kind of marketing way as well. So from life side to the marketing and the business side as well, they combine together. Uh, so I focus on abundance. That's my niche, abundance and also the leadership in the market. So that's my niche. And um, but what is yours, right? You, you even though I could help everybody, that's uh, what I did. At the beginning, I want to help both the uh, professionals and also entrepreneurs, but I ended up uh, the message could be very generic. Like I, I have been very passionate, and and creator and entrepreneur. But I, if I I talk to everybody like entrepreneurs, uh, like uh, professionals, and I did attract both of them. But like the customers is not like very like niche customers, and it's very difficult for me to attract continuous customers because the message is just gen too generic. The offer could be also be, be generic as well, right? So it could not really resonate. And more and more I learned from those masters, I just found that like niche act actually is great. Initially, I feel like oh, it's very challenging for me to develop all those marketing messages and offers, right? And you need 
to target different people and you need to use different messages unless you are very super good at uh, like super good at your energy your time if you have a lot of time you have a, a lot of assistance and if you have uh, you're great at your messages so yeah you you may try that but it's still like uh, it could be a lot of hard work but if you really find a niche and the more the niche you get into you will just find it's like um it's super aligned with you as well because now for example i'm talking about the life coaches with our my ideal customers right i love them because i developed through life coaching stage i know what they like truly want to do they are called you know really inspired by like motivated by their purpose by their passion and just want to change other people's lives want to help this world become better all this kind of you know life coaching way okay i love them because i was one of them i'm still one of them and uh, so like through my coaching i always start with the life side help people to fully understand who they are and discover about their own gift, their strength, their call. And from there, then we like clarify their why, right? Their who, why, what. And then it's like a how part. And now I combine everything together, like from the how, it's a marketing and the sales part. But you need to first clarify the, the why, who, what, okay? Without that, it's very difficult for any entrepreneur to like, especially a great entrepreneur and great coach, to like sustain right you need the, the first part and then get into the business side so that's why i love life coaches i truly want i just feel like i'm most resonant with them they are energetic they are passionate they are so graceful they are so lovely <laughs> that's why i love them i want to help them i want to help them to decode how to from their passion to their prosperity because i had that kind of challenge right and how to make money from our purpose or passion and maybe they were talking about like dream or vision all this kind of uh, people will say oh woo woo stuff not woo woo right even spirituality right we talk all about this our mindset our and Tony Robbins also talk about that but eventually we get to the strategic side as well so that's like from essence to uh, principle to your strategy and tactic okay you need like you like like we said that kind of a quote said what you look at the stars but you put your feet on the ground okay you need the both of that so that's where my niche so that's why i would encourage you you want to clarify your niche and uh, who truly is like who truly your ideal clients and you need to have an avatar how many of you heard about the avatar maybe you already developed your avatar um what's your avatar's name my avatar's name is like uh, angela angela is a single mom with two kids and now it's a teenager kids and she's super busy and she does not have a much like support from relatives and she's a very independent lady and she has a big vision and she's filled like a call by god and she needs to fulfill that call to help many other people change their lives she wants to help them to realize who they are understand their true purpose their passion and then eventually turn the passion into prosperity and you can see that I'm just basically describing myself, okay? Uh, you are just like, um, let's say, about what's the struggling, let me finish this story, okay? But Angela is struggling with like how to get her financial independence. Not just that, she's really struggling with like in her coaching, life coaching practice, how to really keep like, a, get her messages to be heard and to be seen by the, her ideal market, okay? And now I'm telling my, my, dream customer, dream customer, okay, it's like, she wants to attract other, um, other, like, um, um, let's see, she actually, her dream customers are highly, like, uh, highly achieving, like, um, professionals, she wants to actually help those professionals, those ladies, who's uh, still, like, fighting in the corporate world, and try to climb, climb the ladder and try to get to a higher level and uh, but at the same time facing glass ceiling how could they both fulfill themselves in their career right have a better career but at the same time also um, have a more fulfilling life how to balance their life and work how to be there more present for their family for their kids especially right and and uh, also how to develop that kind of mindset and uh, to own their life to become the um, to become the owner and become the creator of their own life, right? So, and to fulfill their purpose, fulfill the passion, fulfill their life, and become, at the same time, become the role model of their own kids as well. So that's uh, Angela's uh, vision. She wants to help those uh, passionate, um, like those um, highly achieving 
professional ladies and help them to achieve both in career and also in life and and make that com com like a balance and also that kind of a own it all you can own it all okay not just like oh either you do good in uh, work or either you do good at home you could not success in both areas but she helped them and not just areas two areas and also in their own lives how to love themselves more okay that self-love self-development that's angela's passion okay to help those uh, especially those women's highly achieving women's to 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 fulfill both in life and also in their career right so but angela's challenge is how to make it to be profitable uh, turn the passion to be uh, her like prosperity right and because at the same time she's also struggling with her time and um, that's the single mom take care of her kids and also doing the business right she's uh, like super busy and she needs the guidance she needs uh, like even step-by-step -step guidance and a very efficient way to help her save the time at the same time in the shortest time to achieve the best results right to help to try to keep uh, like get her message in front of her ideal clients and attract them and especially also convert them because Angela has a uh, both mindset challenge as well and she has a money mindset challenge and she she wants to help people but she's not so courageous or confident to, to charge money or like a the money level that's matching her values okay she's charged very low low ticket like no um, she's only charging at the hundreds level but she dare not to charge at the like higher level to match her the values she's providing right so all these kind of challenges and how to get her message in the market how to stand out because there are now so many life life coaches okay and she felt like that kind of pressure and how to uh, also she compare with those why she did research and see other people are shining in the market and she felt like intimidated and she felt like i'm not good enough she has a doubt of herself I'm not good enough I'm maybe not even so expert in my area and uh, others are so great they've already made so much uh, impact in the world and what I'm doing here I, I feel not like um, uh, and also I'm not good at um, technology and uh, I I can only use like traditional way how could I attract this uh, ideal clients I don't know where they are I don't know how to attract them how I could stand out in the market I, I, I even fear about public speaking I'm not so good at uh, like uh, copywriting and even worse right maybe I'm uh, just an immigrant and Angela yes Angela is an immigrant mom from uh, Asia and she's an Asian mom and uh, She's not like a fancy lady would like to dress up or make up to make herself so sexy and uh, so attractive online. So she's just like a regular mom, right? Single mom. She feel like so like um, discouraged. How could I attract my ideal clients and where can I find them? And what's the best way, effective way for me to efficiently, right? And time saving kind of a way to attract them. And uh, so far she does not even have a like a big list she may only have like a uh, 100 200 kind of a people just a very small um like a very small kind of a um humble uh, list or contacts right she does not as an immigrant she does not have like a big base here she, in the u.s she does not have many contacts there in the, in the u.s so she's facing a lot of challenges in a different way okay both inner challenge and also the external challenges so this is my avatar how about you who is your ideal avatar your dream customer okay so you need to do this kind of exercise you can write it down and I love to do this exercise uh, and every time when I do it and I just feel like I'm further further it's just like a painting okay you are putting more details that is first they have a sketch right even though I'm not very good at a painting my daughter is learning uh, painting she's in an art uh, major in uh, like high school in arts high school and I know that they do sketching first and then you put into more details like right, into the like the humans uh, faces or shadows everything right or hair <laughs> and uh, all this kind of like uh, organs on the face right so it's just like this way every time I'm doing this uh, avatar exercise I feel like I'm putting more into more like meat and uh, details and the skin right into this character and Angela and now I need to visualize Angela look like this kind of a middle age, middle age Angela. What's her age? Around like 40. And this year, 50. Can you imagine that? 50. I'm okay with my age to share with you. And uh, Angela is around um, from 
35 to let's say 50 before yeah i hope them they're younger than me okay so that makes me feel like i'm more experienced i do have customers much older than me like in their 60s but i i still prefer like a little bit younger customers so i i, I may have more experience and guidance to help them but of course um so all the ladies right like 35 to 50 around this age because that's the most challenging time uh, some people get when they're getting to get into 60 they're more like a half time half like retirement mode okay i cannot handle that i want i want people still like energetic i want them to be passionate i want them to be um like say not into that retirement mode they still think that they have 20 years right but of course i have some great customers they are older uh they're ser more serious than me and they are still very passionate and they still want to have another 10 years or 20 years to contribute so i love all of them okay but just let's say in my avatar angela is around 40 years old right she's a single mom with the teenager kids that's matching the teenager kids age okay so that's my ideal avatar uh, angela is an asian mom let's say asian mom with a uh, black hair and brown eyes like me something like that let's see it's just sometimes you are just imagine yourself a few years earlier okay it's just like that kind of game um, all right so that's avatar and you want to fall into love with your avatar okay like every time when you are developing some service you will say you will you will look at your avatar in your vision eye right to think about how i'm serving them because you will have that love and empathy and uh, for Angela because I really want to help Angela because I know that she's struggling and I've been struggling like uh, especially more right a few years ago I even had this um, marriage crisis right love crisis all this kind of thing maybe Angela is also dealing with that still with, with that and separated from her husband and still dealing with this kind of uh, like emotional trauma and how could she uh, have a self-love for herself and at the same time to help many others right that's uh, Angela's challenge as well and um, so I have this deep, deep love and empathy for Angela and also for her children. She has a boy and a girl and both kids are lovely kids. They are positive kids, but they also have like a, the families because the family's traumas, right, also uh, impact the traumas, impact their mental health as well. And sometimes may, they may feel um, not so confident among their peers they were trying to hide them and sometimes maybe become introvert and they do not have enough confidence so i want to help angina to change her feminist legacy so she will when if she become that successful one right she fulfill her wish and her purpose and passion she become that confident independent um, role model for her children and she will change her feminist legacy and she will build up that confident image for her children and inspire them to stand up for themselves even though they went through such kind of like a tragic tra uh, how to say like um, unfortunate family traumas and experience right they feel like they are lacking compared with their peers or other peers have a complete family they have their dad they have their like a um, happy family time together and angela's kids may feel like a uh, pitiful for themselves they feel like they missed a lot they feel like they are lacking a lot they do not have a complete family so that will impact their life and their next generations as well so by helping angela the mom i will help their generations so that's why that's where i say the abundance thought leadership come from okay the leadership is not just for like a big executives in a big company right and but it's also for all these kind of parents single parents like a full parent single parents like angina if she i can help her i will help her children and their children's children generations and the people connected with them right their environment i will help the communities and angela will help angela become a leader a thought leader in her specific niche and she will help those highly achieving uh, professional ladies and she she will help those ladies and then those ladies will like uh, impact their families their kids you see that ripple effect and that make me feel this super important abundance sort of leadership coaching and help those moms to stand up those ladies and not just moms right single parents and also and uh, help those vision life coaches to stand up because every life coaches is a leader you are the leader to 
that's why I call you as like as many of my like life coaches they call themselves life changers as well. You are the life changers. You help change many other people's lives, and they will that will have the ripple effect for generations by generations. We help the whole world. Okay, so that's my avatar. So you need to talk more, resonate more with your avatar and falling into love with them. And I'm falling into love with Angela more and more. And all those, even those ladies, she's helping. Okay, <laughs> with your ideal clients and their clients. Okay, so that's my avatar. And now my question is about which way are you helping them? Are you? Ha- there are two ways basically. Okay, basically two ways. Either you are helping them solve their pains, or you are helping them towards their pleasure. Okay, so normally we start with their pain. Okay, so at the beginning of your, for example, your coaching business or life coaches, right? If you want to help other people, eventually, yeah, you will help them towards the pleasure because that's our where our desires go, right? Our visions go. But at the beginning, you want to solve the problems because people are just. I initially I want to help people achieve their abundance. I talk about abundance. I, I start with the high, very high, the, the tip of the pyramid, the high tip, right? To adding more values, and people are already quite. They've already started the business, and um, they want to achieve the next level. They want to be more successful. Yeah, that's great. But look at how many life coaches are still struggling with being hurt, being like to uh, keep attracting more like uh, continuous needs and clients. They're struggling with this. They're not making money. They are struggling with like uh, uh, all the marketing things and uh, even struggling with their own mindset and emotional and uh, spiritual, all these kind of challenges with themselves, right? All this self-doubt, every day they're struggling with it. They dare not to to make themselves like to stand up there and make them being heard and the same, right? And they are shy about their language, about shy about their background, shy about their appearance, all these kind of struggling, right? And it's just like doctors. Doctors first heal people's pains, right? And before you give them like more holistic advice for them to get to their next level of health, right? Majority of people are still struggling with their pains. So that's why I would also encourage you, our life coaches, our coaches, vision or entrepreneur life changers, right? Start with people's pains because that's still like majority of people are struggling with. Like think about it through pandemic, right? Through pandemic, so many people are still struggling with this kind of health dramas, traumas, and all this kind of uh, like negativities impacted by a pandemic, and all this kind of uh, including economics impact and the financial impact, and um, and right and people like uh, our life coaches, if you want to help those highly achieving people to uh, uh, to to like get to their next level, many of them are still like uh, economically impacted them, and uh, so many layoffs, so many like right, they are even worried about the safety of their career. So you see. Let's focus on the pains first. Uh, help people solve their problems, and then we go to next level, right? For example, your customers. Some of your customers, m- some of my customers, they renew. They like follow me for years, right? At the beginning, you help them solve their problems, and then later, when they get to more comfortable stage and uh, more satisfying stage, they want to get to the next level, and then you will help them. Like for me, I will help them to how to get to the next level of mindset, the next level of abundance, achieve more, right? And uh, like fulfill more. That's so. This is a natural life cycle. Life cycle, we could say. So let's start with uh, first help them like away from their pains, okay? And uh, there's an exercise, okay? Exercise like Russell has this uh, chart. I want to do this chart further. I did this during my reading, and I want to do this further just to strengthen my. I love to do all this kind of exercise, okay? So our focus should be like every day get further connected, deep connection with your dream customers. Like today, I'm further developing my avatar and falling into love with my avatar, Angela, right? her struggling, her pain, and how to help her so I could help many more, okay? So moving away from pain, by the way, those three categories, I choose the category wealth. Initially, I, I was not thinking I'm, a, I'm like really in the wealth part, but if among those health, wealth, and relationships, I figure out mine is more in the wealth, even though I have the life side, right? Even though I have the relationship side, uh, but I'm not focusing on those areas, okay? Also, for my abundance coaching, we also do like a energy and a heal, uh, like a healing and a health, but that's not my focus. My eventual focus is like through those 
better health, better relationships, we get to also like fulfill better wealth, have more impact in this world, okay? So that's my, so from here, I will do my exercise, moving away from pain. Russell gave a few examples. He said, I hate my job and want to be, uh, fire my boss, okay? That's one of the pain. For example, you, if you help people to, to, to do that, to, to like, um, get a new career, change a career, or transition a career, whatever, right? That could be that one. A second one, he gave an example, I have no money saved and I'm scared I would lose my job. So this one maybe help people to do their budgeting, better budgeting, better financial uh, finance management and financial planning, okay? That's another area. Oh, by the way, I do have a finance business, but it's focusing on help families uh, solve their problem of uh, their assets is not very balanced, uh, allocated. It's not giving them the best performance, okay? And how to have the safety and also at, at the same time have a long-term stable growth. That's my focus. And uh, then another, uh, another example, Russell, is that like everyone around me makes more money than I do. That's the person's challenge, right? How to, how to make more money, right? So, but my, what's my uh, problem I'm helping, helping in, in the wealth category, right? I help life coaches to stand up, to like step up for the call and uh, stand out in their niche, ideal niche market as confident expert and thought leader so that they could launch their ultimate success and make greater impact. That's basically for my niche, okay? So the pens, I help them move on, away from pens is uh, help them to get their messages to be heard and to be seen and help them to um, build up a track, uh, like a connection and have better engagement with their ideal clients, okay? Better connection with ideal clients and better, um, better connection, attract more of them and, and uh, continuous, continuous help them to have a continuous uh, needs, generate continuous needs and attract continuous like a, a paid clients and even get into a higher payment and that match their, their like I say, their, their values they are providing. And uh, help them to have more engaging community, develop their communities, that's a big one, so that they could also develop their leadership in our community to generate that impact. Okay, so basically it's say, um, get their message to be heard a bird. There's a cute bird just stopped by my window. Maybe that's a robin. Hello, bird. Uh, so it's like, uh, first it's like get their message to be heard, right? To be heard and to be seen. And that's the content part, uh, the branding and content, and the neat con uh, branding and content part. And then how to build out a con connection, right? That, that interaction and uh, including today what we're teaching, right? The avatar, the customers, when you are moving away from pain or towards the pleasure, and you be very cl clear, get a clarity about those things, right? Uh, before you can really get your customers. Without those clarity, if your message is uh, weak and your actions will be weak, you will be lack of a power, and okay, your implementation will be lack of a momentum as well. And that's why majority people fail, or majority people is not getting their ideal results. All right, and the connections and their community, the community engagement. Okay, that's basically a few areas. From their, from their niche to their uh, brand, to the content, to the offer, and uh, make more offer. I learned from uh, <laughs> Myron Golden how to make more offer, right? Only those kind of momentums can generate results and also make more content. And, and we have the freedom and content freedom challenge, how to make that uh, greater and more resume, uh, clari clarified content and also uh, more content and greater content. And uh, the offer and then community, right? That's a basic a few areas, five areas. And also we have the system, the system side. Because the, so many life coaches are not good at technology. They are afraid of like, uh, they are overwhelmed by technology. And we, last week we talked about the perfect webinar hack, how to without technology background and how to easily, without, okay, budget to invest in all these kind of fancy systems, how you can use just a free social media platforms, right? All these free tools to do your perfect webinar hack and attract your ideal clients, okay? We have that. And also the energy, how to manage your energy, how to become unstoppable, how to have your like uh, unlimited momentum, right? To, to, to really, generate that kind of impact in the market. So that's the problems I help them to solve.
okay so how about yours you want to write down you're moving away from the pins okay the pin you want to write down the pin what's your pin the pin of uh, the message is not out there okay nobody is is hearing me or nobody's watching my message nobody's engaging I did not really get a feedback and uh, my, commu my community the community is very small it's not thriving I do not I'm not attracting enough uh, like needs into my world I'm not having I have a technical challenge I do not have uh, enough budget I do not have money right to do all this kind of investment thing I cannot hire assistant I cannot develop a system all kinds of and also time issue right? I'm so short of time I'm a single mom or this kind of uh, or single parents or I have uh, my parents to take care and my kids to take care I'm short of my time and also I'm getting older right I'm aging and I do not have enough time I feel like I'm running out of my time every out of all this kind of all I'm not having enough energy every time I feel like drained I have a passion but I do not have an, an enough energy every day to uh, accomplish what I set my goals to be right all these kind of challenges I help my ideal clients Angela my Angela right to 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 really overcome and also to master master challenges and to overcome and also become the masters to to take really get rid of those and some you get rid some you take different perspective to handle some you take your action implementation way right to 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 overcome it and some you develop the, the habits we help them develop the best routine and habits to to gain the best efficiency and uh, performance so that's my moving away from pain okay and for my other customers who follow me quite a long time when they get to their more comfortable uh, situation and uh, satisfied stage I will help them to move in towards their pleasure so the next level for example they've already my ideal customer right already developed some they've already launched a business I help them by the way I help them launch their successful ultimate success right launch a successful online business and now they get to they've already launched they get to like uh, some customers or they already get some like a little bit stable business but still have uh, they still want to like get to their next level how to further develop their leadership right how to develop the system to be the next level how to like um, the offers how to make the offers to be more like a uh, design their value ladders from lower and middle level to the co-offer co and to higher end offers right design that value that uh, ladder value ladders and then also how to develop their leadership to have a more impact uh, into their community right and thrive the community to the next level and every aspect we just talked earlier and how to get to the next level right so that's and or especially the abundance mindset the leadership side right? the mindset side how to they grow into an even greater coach to make a bigger impact how to develop their dream 100 so they've also talked about dream 100 to scale with their partners right to scale their market to scale their impact and help my customers to get to the next stage as well okay so that's um, and to be more even more profitable okay so that's the exercise we did for the cost ideal customer side and now the dream 100 dream one, what is dream 100 initially I uh, Russell learned this that uh, concept is dream 100 is like a dream dream like dream 100 big clients right those ones who, like one of my mentors if like for example from one client he made a million dollars commission from one client so that's like a that, that's like a dream 100 right but it's for us for us for our coaches life coaches if you want to make a bigger impact get more ideal clients right you want to find out dream 100 partners those partners in the different uh, like areas of uh, like uh, in the market they have your dream client uh, dream customers for example who let's see some some exercise that I want to do this further uh, like a water website um, let me see here uh, okay for example here Russell I want to use Russell's example okay he listed 10 10 plus top websites and forums uh, they spend time on here they mean like a uh, Russell's dream customers for example I will use that uh, exercise at the same time do my exercise okay for example where life life coaches are spending time on so we want to find those dream 100 uh, partners where they congregate you won't find them because they have the list all the community all the congregation of your dream customers okay so 
who are have my dream customers who have my dream life coaches customers okay those influencers okay all those influencers uh for example the uh, i know um in, on facebook um in, influencers okay all these kind of now marketings are focused on those influencers on social medias so you want to find on different social medias or even websites right who are those uh uh who are those influencers but first i would say the strategy i want a little bit different from russell's is like i want to first to find those influencers because those influencers are multiple platforms russell started his his ways like started from different uh, different platforms to find those uh, influencers and for my way i want to find influencers then to find the the because for coaches right coaches we are more like influencers you want to find influencers and find out where they are um having their like a, a presence on different platforms um it's different way because russell's russell's ideal clients are those like experts and like uh, uh entrepreneurs online entrepreneurs he wants to find for example what kind of a top website they are following what kind of a facebook they are participating what kind of a influence they are following what kind of podcast they're listening to what kind of small uh, like a, like email email list uh, newsletters they are subscribing and blogs they are read and youtube channels they are subscribing to okay so he focused on the platforms but for our life coaches for my life coaches um, market, I want to find first those influencers. They have multiple. They are almost everywhere. Okay, they have all those like uh, places Russell just mentioned, and if I find uh, 100 influencers, I found my ideal audience clients. Right. So for example, in my industry, uh, Tony Robbins, like TR. Let, let me see how many I could uh, I could list. Okay, let me see if I can find some more space I can write down. Okay, let's say TR, um, like Dean Gross Asi, DG, and Russell Brunson, definitely. Russell Brunson, RB, and um, uh, it's Brendan Burchard, BB, <laughs> and um, I know who? Um, Myron Golden, actually. Oh, Adam and eh? EM, these are, those five are my top ones. And Myron Golden, MG, and um, who else? There's so many, and uh, so far, you see, that's why we need to do the exercise. And Russell said so many people are fascinated by his concepts, by his teaching, but few of them are really doing this exercise. Many people just uh, find a few and then they stop. They never get to like 100 level. And Russell actually, for his uh, ClickFunnels launching, he did uh, totally 736. And yesterday I just read that 736. Uh, uh, like a uh, dream 100 okay so 100 is just like a token but it's not 100 anymore you, the more you find the better right the merrier the more the merrier and um, the partners because you don't know how many of them are really maybe helping you right to develop but you need to find them first you see the first ones get into a mind it's only it's only six of them so that's that's a far that's shy right from a, and I have a, for example I love um, Oprah Winfrey but her her world is full of, um, she does have coaches, but she has a more of, a, I would say, house moms, I'm not sure. It's just like her world is more diversified and more diluted. But she's still my, one of my, at least she's one of the top, like, um, female. I want to find more female, female masters and leaders. I am going to be one of that. I definitely, and ladies, we need more, okay? More of you, your leadership to be, to be impactful in this market. We need more female leaders okay you heard me even though i'm doing both okay i'm my clients oh, very interesting i have actually att attract more male clients than female because my mindset thing right my mindset abundance mindset everything uh, maybe attract more males and i'm not that kind of like a fancy ladies type so i'm not attracting uh, many ladies that much but definitely i would say here we need more ladies female women leaders okay i definitely want to contribute to that but in my world i now believe i have more ladies than than males okay but i do have both and uh, let's see and by the way my most successful clients are more more like males because ladies they you guys just i want to honest, be honest here to you okay you guys just do have too many distractions including me okay this is talking to me as well i'm a female okay we have so many because 
but I could also understand as a single mom who have so many duties, family duties. So I understand how many things my kids were adding to my calendar. Okay, if you check my calendar, Google Calendar, uh, more than half is from my kids, two kids. Okay, so and a boy, a boy and a girl, so they have totally now different activities. When they were younger, easier to handle, they could go to the same classes or same activities. And now boy and girl, right, have totally different interests now. They they have their circles and they have their like different uh, interests. Okay, so now my it's just like my Iran's doubles. Okay. So but fortunately like swimming we, we still do together. And painting kids are still doing together and piano they can do together. But there's some other things like um, like my, my son go to basketball, go to gym with his kids, uh, and even just go to like a movie with his friends. And my daughter's going to arts painting, uh, not just arts painting, she goes to what? Girl Scout, uh, yeah, Boy Scout, Girl Scout, separated. And um, uh, because my, my, my Boy Boy Scout does not accept the girls yet, even though the total Boy Scout open to women, but girls, but um, our specific troop did not. So let's see, yeah, some other things. My girls, my girl just wants to go to her girls thing <laughs> with other girls. So, oh gosh, so I could understand, okay. Uh, and also our women, we, <clears throat> many of us challenged by what? Of appearance, because this society not is not our fault at all, okay, I would say. This whole society is adding that kind of a tr from tradition, okay, thousands of years ago to now. It's like uh, give that kind of a, definition and positioning for ladies you, know, you guys need to be pretty dress uh, fancy dressing and even makeup to make and that kind of like a, what that curved uh, shape of your body and to be sexy to be attractive and that uh, and many people are even teaching how your sex right side could attract more clients I admit that it's a, it's a it's a fact in the society and we cannot be against that. It's okay. Someone you may prefer that way, but someone will have different ways, right? I'm more into spirituality and uh, mindset and uh, wisdom. And uh, I'm not into any makeups. And uh, I'm, it's okay. I'm, even though I attract maybe less people, I feel okay because I just want to be me, my style, okay? My own style. I love arts, by the way. That's my hope, okay? <laughs> At least I have some like colorful thing. I have some creative thing. Okay, so but always important. It doesn't matter how many people you can eventually like attract to your world, but you attract your people. Okay, people. I believe there are many people like me. They 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 admire those people who have those fancy fancy appearance, but uh, for themselves they may still prefer to be more natural. Okay, I'm a natural person, by the way. So I just want to be me, natural, or organic, and uh, authentic. And without makeup, without uh, uh, too much, I, I, I pay a lot of attention to health as well. I think that's important, but do not necessarily to just to have that health or like a good figure to attract other people. Okay, that's not my way to attract. I use this, I use this, my heart to attract people. So that's my way. Even though I may be attracted in the fact, attract the less people, but still good enough. I attract the people who I want to attract, okay, who are mean to be those influencers I want to help to build. So the influencers, I need to keep uh, expanding my list. I know quite some like um, those those ones I just listed are mega ones, uh, bigger ones. At our level, their level, there's Tom. Let me see. I, I remember some of their first name, but not last name. Many because like even from... Um, Oh, actually, I have a cheat sheet way from Edman Ness interview. Okay, Edman Ness interview. Every interview episode has a new uh, influencer. Uh, those ones are could be my targets. Yeah, that's a good way. So I will follow all of them. <laughs> I I listen to all his interviews. I love them. So Tony Robbins, Dean Gross, I say like uh, Russell Brunson and um, Edman Ness. All their interviewed people are influencers, and they interviewed quite a few uh, ladies, uh, female. Uh, influencers as well so I need to follow all of them develop uh, like uh, has the connection with their communities but for me to get their level of uh, persuade them to become my partner not yet but I could uh, from there like uh, like different layers okay different layers from like uh, layers like uh, closer to my level and eventually get to them this is like a uh, this is what kind of strategy we could call. This is also like a ladder, okay? This is in the entrepreneurship kind of ladder. You get to into like a, 
a closer circle energy level or impact level to your level and the immediate like uh, you keep expanding yourself keep expanding in, in yourself ex till someday you get to the higher level okay so that's my strategy so definitely from um, Adam and S from there today even by review his uh, like a uh, YouTube um, interviews I can list the dozens of them okay that's my task for today all right so now we're already one hour here i've already give you the best hint there okay and uh, by the way for the dream 100 how do we develop them the first thing you want to develop their relationship with them okay you want to get into subscribing in russell's way subscribe to to their list subscribe to their like uh, follow them on social media uh, through the different platforms where wherever they are right and you need to get familiar with them what they are doing how they are impacting the world so you are learn and you learning at the same time and you practicing okay so you learn practicing and like now I, I'm reading the books I'm doing the practice and now I need to follow those influencers and get familiar with what they are doing and just step by step get to get to how to say to reach their level and then get them into my partners at the same time I also developing my uh, dream 100 uh, mastermind I have my mastermind we've been doing weekly masterminding meeting from uh, let's say last September till now till this week so it's it's a great trend and and I have a dozens of them but I need definitely more okay my target is like a, like Russell's hundreds of them at least 200 300 till like 500 or 10 one one like 1000 that kind of a scale for me to make that kind of impact okay so my strategy now is just like get those influencers name and then follow them through their different uh, platforms and get closer to them you need to get closer to them Russell said that yeah, this step this stage may be time consuming but it was totally worth it and all his business is on this kind of a solid foundation this is our foundation okay our life coaches our original entrepreneurs now life changers okay let's build our solid foundation let's clarify who are your dream customers what is your avatar and uh, which way like what kind of pains are you helping them solving and uh, getting away and what kind of pleasure are you helping them get to and focus on the pains first okay and then develop your dream 100 those influencers who have your dream clients okay so that and then next stage you will get after this stage and you was we will talk about more about how you present there to get your impact okay so first build this foundation all right we will actually I spend a few I want to spend a few weeks till we really get this solid foundation I will share with you my progress as well okay and let's check with you and remember to share under my video let me know what's your best aha, aha moment or like uh, inspirations and what kind of actions you would take remember that implementation is the most important okay finally I want to invite you to this Thursday this Thursday our live event uh, I have already the perfect webinar I'm now still thinking should I do the hack or should I do the formal presentation to you guys and uh, let's do the, the formal one okay because I've already had my uh, presentation but I need to keep improving it and um, at the same time do the hacking thing the hacking thing and uh, remember to check our last week is the Thursday's the live replay we have the hacking uh, I've already showed you how to do that uh, but this time I want to do more like a formal one so I would I would share with you my funnel and check double check under my video okay I will share with you that funnel the my webinar funnel and you can get into my list and get more familiar with what I've been doing practicing okay let's let's make it okay let's let's keep uh, practicing and and uh, optimizing our our essence our strategy our everything our, our implementation as well so let's see you make sure that it will show up on our live event it's uh, it will be a webinar not really a webinar but it's on zoom okay on zoom and i will see if i will live stream to my uh abundant entrepreneur school i will see let me know if you are interested let me know you want to attend our zoom or you want um, us to go live as well okay we'll see you on thursday to learn the topic is how to launch your purposeful and profitable impactful online business in 90 days as a confident expert and solid okay to make your impact we will see you inside soon take good care keep this momentum have a wonderful week bye